Today we're going to add a new item to an Islandora repository. We start with a freshly built Islandora virtual machine. Then we'll go to content in our administrative menu. Here we see all of the existing nodes in our Drupal site. And to add an Islandora item, it's just like adding any other node. We go to add content. And we find a special content type called repository item that comes with Islandora defaults. This brings up a form that has many, many fields. Most of these are not going to be necessary for every single item, but this default form that ships with Islandora is made to provide fields that make a migration from mods in Islandora 7 easier. For this demonstration, we're just going to fill in the title out of all of these metadata fields. We'll call this a test item. And then we can collapse away all those fields and go down to some more necessary fields. We have to tell it what model to use. It'll be an image. And then we can choose some display hints. Now, if we choose NA, it will have Drupal treat this image the way it would any other image in a Drupal site. Open C Dragon Return and Open C Dragon Viewer, and we have PDFJS available for PDFs. Uh, PID, if we were migrating from Islandora 7. Wait, if this is going to be paged content. Now we save our item, and we have a node with metadata, and a URL pointing to where this object is stored in Fedora. We want to add the actual digital file that we want to preserve. We'll go to the Media tab, and Add Media. Once again, we have to pick the model that applies to this particular item and its image. We'll give it a name. We'll choose a file, and let's go with uh, this picture of a couple of cats looking at each other. Alternative text is a required field for accessibility. And now we pick media use. We have a lot of different options here so that we could manually upload things like the service file or the thumbnail, but if we want to have derivatives created, we have to go with original file, as is noted in the help text. So we'll save that media. And now it's stored as part of the node. And in the background, derivatives are being generated. If we go look at the media itself, we can see the image that we've just uploaded. And we see some metadata has been extracted, some technical metadata. Now, if we go to look at the parent object, the test item metadata node that we created first, we'll see now the media is attached to it. And we'll make a quick change here to how this is being displayed. So we'll leave the metadata fields alone, but we'll go back to these display hints that we looked over earlier, and we'll turn on the Open Sea Dragon Viewer. And now that's being applied to the item that we've already uploaded. So we can zoom right in, get a closer look at the cats, see that one of them is, uh, is missing an eye. And if we now go to have a look at the media on this node, we'll see that that derivative creation process is finished. And now we have a service file, we have a thumbnail, and we have FITS metadata that have all been created in the background based on that original file that we uploaded. To find out more about Islandora, including documentation, downloads, and an online sandbox where you can try it out for yourself, please visit islandora.ca.